Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This person was caught on camera pouring maple syrup all over this police car. The suspect still hasn't been caught or identified yet. This is called reverse bungee jumping. A person will typically feel about 5 Gs of force while flying straight up. A company in France invented a bike that changes direction by bending its frame and back wheel. A professional biker rode on top of this dam that was over 200 meters high. He actually did have a parachute on in case he fell off. This is possibly the oldest method of getting a tattoo. The hand tapping method has been used in many different cultures for thousands of years. This is a heavy lift ship. It's an incredibly strong vessel that is designed to go underwater. This method is typically used when trying to transport smaller ships or cargo that can float. The deck becomes submerged, allowing cargo to be moved into position for loading. Afterwards, the tanks are emptied and the deck surfaces with the load in place. After installing the sea fastenings, the vessel and its cargo can safely start their journey. This is Rocky and he has a special ability to balance pretty much anything. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is called See-Through, which is a special device that allows firefighters to see straight through smoke. This device uses augmented reality to create an outline of structures inside of a burning building. The hope is that firefighters will be able to move through buildings faster and easier, which will save more lives. The See-Through technology is it's pretty amazing just how it gives you depth in a room, shows all the edges. The see-through technology is amazing. It absolutely is. It's cutting edge. It separates thermal imaging from anything out there in the market. Back in 1993, a company tried selling the first hands-free phone headset. It's that easy. Hands-free, pain-free, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. It's perfect for remotes. Now talk hands-free anywhere, anytime. Office work is a pain for Mr. Phone in the Neck, but you won't miss a beat with hands-free freedom. Sometimes baby goats misbehave and can't stop running into other goats. As a result, farmers sometimes have to cut off their horns to protect other animals. Many goat farmers have learned that the quickest and easiest way to protect others is by using pool noodles. These foam noodles are cut and placed right on top, which is a great alternative to removing their horns. 
I'm not sure why, but there's a bunch of viral videos from China showing a praying mantis lifting heavy objects. This is the White Temple, located in Thailand. It's a Buddhist temple that was constructed by a local artist in 1997. He used his own money to fund the project and believes building the temple will give him immortal life. That's it in this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A scientist in California helped create a camera capable of moving faster than the speed of light. At 10 trillion frames per second, we have finally captured a beam of light in motion. In this video, you can see a beam of light getting split in half. This person lost her arm in a car crash over 15 years ago. After the accident, she decided to develop her own customized prosthetic arm and learn how to play violin. There's these Halloween costumes that can make your whole family look like sick people. Zoe, hurry! Come to daddy, hurry! <laughs> hurry, run! Here's a demonstration showing how the wavelength of earthquakes impacts different buildings. Earthquakes with long wavelengths weaken taller buildings. Earthquakes that have quick wavelengths weaken shorter buildings. There's a bath bomb that's shaped like a cloud, and when it's placed in a tub, it spits out a rainbow. You can make an incredibly simple electric train by using a battery, magnets, and a copper coil. That's it in this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's a barber that helps people with thin hair look young again. The top of the client's head is shaved off, and fake hair is glued right on top. 
The glue can last for about a month before needing to be reapplied again. This is Julian Carr. He's a professional skier that likes to jump off cliffs into giant piles of fluffy snow. This jump was over 200 feet high and he walked away completely unharmed. This is called the octopus jig. It's where you have three people play the same three instruments at the same time. This is what a CT scan looks like without the cover on. And as it speeds up, it's taking images, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. It's taking more images. Yep. And that improves the quality. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. <laughs> Come here, little. You're a cute pumpkin. And Sophie's a good grandma. <laughs> All right, happy nice habits. So do I. Oh, my God. About a week ago, there was an air show in Australia where planes flew really close to buildings. Boston Dynamics made a robot that's capable of doing parkour. There's a pen that uses a scanner to match the color of pretty much anything. Once something is scanned, the ink and the pen mix it together to produce the desired color. It works by using a special color sensor to read the colors you scan. And a smart pump mixes and dispenses the colored ink. Scanning is simple and fast. So you can capture those colors in an instant. Boy, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. These are probably the strongest gloves in the world. These gloves are strong enough to protect you from sharp objects, blunt force, and extreme heat.
These two little bear cubs were rescued from the cold weather. This rattlesnake thought this tortoise was a rock and decided to go for a ride. This is Salto, the one-legged jumping robot. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This company developed glasses that blocks out computer and TV screens. Some people find electronic screens to be distracting, so this makes it easier to focus. I discovered that when you actually flatten and when you rotate a regular polarized lens, you can block out LCD and LED screens, and those make up most of the displays for TVs and computers. So, we had our screen blocking glasses. And so we spent the past year researching manufacturers, materials, we've done lots of prototyping. This is the tallest outdoor elevator in the world, located in China. The elevator takes passengers to a height of over 1,000 feet in 60 seconds. This company made some Halloween decorations that make it look like there's an actual ghost in your house. A special projector is used to make the hologram illusion come to life. It's possible to create a bridge made of water by using electricity. Scientists are still not entirely sure why water behaves this way. Straight across that guy. So I'm going to bring it up. Voltage up. Now I'll bring the voltage back down. A few days ago, SpaceX launched another rocket into space, and it was beautiful. Here's a great graph showing how much the sea level has risen since 1880. There's a Japanese artist that uses shadows from everyday objects to create giant imaginary worlds. This person set up a machine that makes you a free scarf while you wait for your train. All you need to do is power the machine with your legs for about 5 minutes. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's an artist that likes to carve pillows out of marble.
This is a polarizing filter, which is used by photographers to remove reflections from surfaces such as glass and water. Filters can get rid of reflections from many surfaces such as water, or glass, or even book spines. There's a cat that likes to go skateboarding. The owner pushes or pulls on the board while the cat goes for a ride. This is the largest and most expensive sailboat in the world. If you want to rent this yacht, it'll cost you at least $300,000 a week. These ducks were rescued after they spent their entire lives trapped inside a house. They have never seen a large body of water until now. The ducks actually refused to go in the water until volunteers started throwing them in. A few days ago, there was an earthquake in Indonesia, followed up by a tsunami that flooded the shoreline. That's the end of this video, but I do have some bad news. I will be gone and away from YouTube for about the next 10 or 11 days, and I'll be spending some time with some family members that I almost never get to see. So thanks so much for understanding, and I'll be back again making videos very, very soon. Hello Later. everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Underwater? Yeah. Oh! This rhino ran right up to this photographer and demanded belly rubs. This is called the double wrench method, which is a super simple way to break open a lock. And then the second one at a 90 degree angle. So let's see what happens when we try this. Okay, looks like we broke something, but it's not completely open. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Sometime in the first century, a nomadic tribe in Saudi Arabia carved this tomb from a giant rock. There's over 100 other similar tombs scattered throughout the desert. These tombs were built for the wealthiest and most important members of their society. This is how a sea cucumber eats. They walk on the floor and throw sand in their mouth and digest whatever organic matter they can find. And what we see the, uh, the holothurian doing here again is, is consuming sediment. 
they are able to eviscerate they, their guts, uh, for example, uh, and that will then stick to the predator and confuse them. Happy baking, everyone. Here we have some brioche dough, which goes into a bun divider. Push this down, divide it, and now we're going to round it for a few seconds. And voila, you have equal 36 pieces. This company made a device that allows you to create and animate your own holograms. And you look at it and you interact with it, there's no clunky headgear, there's no extended setup. That's in this video, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This company developed a speed bump filled with non-Newtonian fluid. If a car is moving at the appropriate speed limit, the car will travel right over it without very much disturbance. If a car is traveling too fast, the liquid hardens and becomes an obstacle. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this was a very good idea because the company is now out of business. Change from a soft to a solid state, according to the vehicle's speed. This is what it looks like when you place liquid nitrogen in the gasoline. The nitrogen moves around, kind of like a screensaver. This is a gulper eel, and they can make themselves look like really big balloons to scare away predators. Wow. Wow. We really ticked them off. <laughs> like oh the gill arches I have the gill some kind of what is it? Wow. it just got so big incredible wow yep he's doing the shake oh, it's a oh, oh, what? oh my god <laughs> yes. oh. is that a gulper eel then wow yes. I think so yeah that is crazy that, that was awesome that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> These are juvenile African pampano fish, and they have really long fin filaments. As they get older, these long threads get smaller and smaller. This is what it looks like to paint using virtual reality. It allows you to paint in a three-dimensional space. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These firefighters in Canada had their hose sucked in by a fire tornado. There's a special type of plant that you can blow bubbles from. Awesome. <laughs>
<laughs> Yay! In case you didn't know, there's an enormous patch of plastic floating in the Pacific Ocean. This patch is difficult to photograph because many of the plastic pieces are really, really small. However, if you use a net and drag it through this patch of water, you will pick up a lot of plastic. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch measures 1.6 million square kilometers. That is three times the size of France. Cars are beginning to have door protectors to protect other cars from getting scratches. The option is also in the door. There's a train bridge in Burma that travels over an enormous valley. The bridge is 118 years old and the highest point is 820 feet from the bottom. In 1995, these designs were first discovered in the sand, but nobody knew where they came from. This is the Japanese pufferfish, and they like to draw intricate designs in the sand to attract a mate. These fish are pretty much showing off their artistic abilities to attract the ladies. In 2017, over 1,000 rhinos were killed so their horns could be harvested and sold on the black market. Many wildlife conservations are dehorning rhinos to save them from being killed. Once a rhino has been spotted, the team uses a tranquilizer to calm the rhino down. Their eyes are covered and earplugs are placed for protection from noise and dust. A chainsaw is then used to remove the horn. Removing a horn is similar to trimming your fingernails. The rhino does not feel any pain. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is a golden-tailed gecko. What you're looking at is extremely rare footage of their defense mechanism used to scare away predators. When the geckos feel threatened, they shoot a sticky substance out of their tail. This web is also extremely foul-smelling and will make this gecko smell really, really bad. Unfortunately, this type of gecko is currently suffering from habitat loss in Australia. This truck was being repossessed when the owner jumped in and tried to drive away. This artist created a 3D printer using the power and heat from the sun to make objects from sand. This is a marine iguana, only found in the Galapagos Islands. They're the only type of iguana in the world that can swim and dive for food. Many of these iguanas can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes long. When racehorses are about two years old, they begin hard training to become the best. Since the horses are so young, their body is not ready to handle this type of training. This is a monorail that runs with the horses and protects them if they trip or fall.
This is the Ames window, which is an optical illusion that was created in 1951. It's a two-dimensional object that appears to be transparent. When you place objects on this window, it appears that the objects are passing straight through. So the window appears to pause and go backwards, but the matchbox keeps coming and floats out past this edge of the window. You can see that, you can even see the pin. But watch what happens here. The ruler's coming, window pauses, window goes backwards, and somehow or other they go through each other, even though you know they can't do it. That's it in this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. These researchers were studying a group of beluga whales when they noticed something strange. One of the whales was actually a narwhal. This narwhal has been swimming with the same group of whales for over three years. About three months ago, a new type of rock was discovered in Lake Superior in the United States. These are called euperlites. They look like regular boring rocks until they're placed underneath an ultraviolet light. So this is what they look like without. You can see there's a couple different patterns going on. And they fluoresce very brightly under long wave UV. Quite a few different flavors. And the white light back on and take the UV away. <laughs> oh my goodness me, it's a smooth knob tail gecko. And it's very beautiful and I love geckos. They're very cute. Yeah, this guy's very cute. He's so, oh yeah, he's so cute. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I found one. I've never seen one of these in the wild before. This is a peacock mantis shrimp, and they're one of the most fearsome predators in the animal kingdom. They hunt for food by punching other animals to death. They have the fastest punch ever recorded at speeds of over 50 miles per hour. Their punch is so strong that they can break through the glass walls of aquariums. <laughs> A zoo installed a new security camera and it scared the snow leopard. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is what the track of a drag race looks like. The surface is really, really sticky, so the cars can get a good grip. Got it, let's see that. <laughs> Oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. What is it? There's a popular sport in Southeast Asia where you pretty much play volleyball using your feet.
This is what air traffic in the United States looked like before and after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. This is called a coconut octopus. They like to carry seashells, coconuts, or pretty much whatever they can find everywhere they go. They use these objects to hide and protect themselves from predators. These police officers try teaching a dog how to do CPR. In the 1960s, Albania had a dictator who was paranoid that his country was going to be attacked. As a result, he ordered over 750,000 bunkers to be built all over the country. These bunkers still exist today and can be found on pretty much every street corner. At one point, over 20% of the total economic output of Albania was dedicated to building these bunkers. This little penguin was released back in the wild, but it wasn't really sure what to do. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Coca-Cola made a machine that instantly turns your soda into frozen slush. Oh, whoa. That was a cool... Okay, now that was cool. Whoa. <laughs> if you take a lit match and place it inside of a microwave, you can create plasma. Come on, come on. Here we go. Plasma can also be created by microwaving grapes. Scientists put small light bulbs all over this fake arm to see if an electric eel could turn them on. In South American countries such as Colombia and Brazil, you'll see people perform at red lights.
that's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is called a persistent train, and it's a rare occurrence when a meteor leaves a trail behind. This isn't actually smoke, but a result of the meteor ionizing the air. The meteor is moving so fast that it actually strips away electrons from molecules in the air. This astronomer found a persistent train that formed in the shape of a ring. There's a restaurant in Japan that sends you noodles through a series of bamboo tubes. You're not supposed to take all the noodles, so people further down the line can have some too. Good afternoon, everyone. This is called a red-throated loon, and it's a type of bird that likes to dive for food. They have the ability to dive to a depth of 30 feet and hold their breath for 90 seconds. There's a sport from Norway that's pretty much a belly flop championship. The objective is to have the most painful dive possible into the water. Should see what also. On the plus for 2015. Paul. How many signatures? Can we see? Go for some. Holmes, put us together. Oi, oi, oi. A few days ago, Japan experienced their most powerful typhoon in over 25 years. This is what it looks like when two octopuses fight. It got to the point that it looked like a giant octopus burrito. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is Peanut the Trucker Cat. His owner drives a big semi-truck for a living and likes to travel for thousands of miles. This is what conditions are like for over 100,000 people living in Hong Kong. With so many people living in such a small area, these people pay over $150 a month to live in a cage or metal box. To make things even worse, about 15 people have to share the same bathroom. The military in Ukraine decided to show off how advanced their weapons are. Despite being on a boat, the gun is so stable that it can balance a cup of water.
There's a train in Thailand that goes straight through a marketplace. This is the USS Arizona Memorial, located in Hawaii. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, this ship and over 1,000 U.S. sailors sunk to the bottom of the harbor. What makes this memorial so interesting is that over 77 years later, you can still see oil from the ship rise to the surface. Look, it just comes again and again right in here. Look at this. The bark from this tree is used to make cork for wine bottles. The bark grows back on the tree about 9 years later to be harvested again. The average cork tree gets harvested about 12 times in its lifetime. Nice. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is called the Arch Lifter, and it's a medical device used to fix your neck. The device locks your head in place, while gravity is used to straighten out your neck. The Arch Lifter is a new and unique cervical traction device that relieves the tension and pain that build up after a hard day's work. The Arch Lifter is designed to apply traction forces precisely to give you the neck and back pain relief you need in under a minute per day. The Arch Lifter uses balanced traction forces by applying those forces to the front and the back of the head. This is called a Japanese wood plane, and it's a tool that shaves off extremely thin pieces of wood. To give you an idea of just how thin these sheets of wood are, your typical piece of paper is about 100 microns thick. These wood shavings are sometimes less than 16 microns thick. These are some of the quickest gunslingers in the world. 459 on one, a five flat on two, no time on three. No time on two, a 295 on four. <laughs> that is a new world record. And then a new world record, 295. This is what a $367,000 signing machine looks like. It has the ability to perfectly replicate anyone's signature. Now that we have the sign plotted, we're going to go ahead and remove away the material we do not need. After we finish weeding, we're going to go ahead and tape over the letters. It's a diamond grade. Uh, basically, at night, this is what, when your headlights hit, shoots it back in your face. And there you go. You've got a completed stop sign. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Many reptile breeders tickle the shell of an egg to see if it's ready to hatch. This method is only used to see if the baby is strong enough to break through the shell.
Do you love me too? No. Oh no. I think he loves me. Yeah, I got you. I got this on camera. This person bought a giant stuffed bear, jumped inside, and then went to Walmart. This way, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now teach me how to doggy. <laughs> That is too cute. <laughs> Please. I mean, seriously. <laughs> this is called the Sea Keeper, which is a gyro stabilizer to prevent the boat from rocking back and forth. At the bottom of the boat, multiple stabilizers are placed to shift the weight in the opposite direction of the natural motion. Of every boater's experience because stabilizing the roll motion is stabilizing the worst motion of a boat that makes people sick and tired. This will come about, we think, the same way that safety and comfort have been built into automobiles. This is a Eurasian wryneck, and they have an interesting defense mechanism when they're captured. These birds make their body as skinny as possible and move like a snake to try and scare predators. This is called a self-starting siphon and is a simple shaped tube that can move liquid without using any sort of effort. Many people actually used to make tubes like this to steal gas from gas stations. Let's see what happens. Watch it closely. We lower it in, water level comes up to that first bend, over, down, around, and out. And it only just made it. In fact, it wouldn't have if that hill were too tall or the water level weren't right up to the edge there. This is a giant dragline excavator built by the Soviet Union. This incredibly massive machine doesn't have any wheels, but it moves by walking on its feet. During the Vietnam War, this is how the Viet Cong would hide from U.S. soldiers. <laughs> Not only was it difficult to find the enemy, but the Viet Cong also set up numerous booby traps. Uh, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. These are mobula rays, and this is a performance both males and females carry out to attract a mate. The higher the rays fly, the bigger the noise they make on the way down, which makes it easier to get noticed. What you just saw was the world's first standing double backflip on a hard surface. This is called a sun dog, and it's a very rare situation when it looks like there are three suns in the sky. It's created when sunlight reflects off of ice crystals floating in the air. This is called a Paternaster lift, and it's a continuously moving doorless elevator. They're not very helpful for elderly or disabled people, but do make it very easy to jump on. Supposedly, there are sensors that stop the lift if someone were to get their arm stuck between levels.
These people in California blocked off traffic on a bridge so they could do some stunts. They were arrested a few minutes later. This is an easy way to convert salt water into fresh water. By heating up the bottle filled with salt water, only fresh water evaporates and moves to the other bottle. So now it's been about 10 minutes since the water started boiling, and I think I have enough water in this bottle that I can give it a test. Absolutely pure. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later!